Hey there YouTubers, thanks for tuning back in. This is Dan Strong with Excel VBA is Fun. Today we're going to work on a little project where we're going to have uh, an account number or whatever you want and when you double, uh, let's see, whenever you click on this, any of these cells, they're going to be, uh, quote, clickable cells. Okay, so uh, whenever you click on them, it'll take the, the font color black and it'll make it, at first it'll make it uh, red and then if you click on it again, it would make it uh, green and then when you click on it again it would rotate back to black and start the process all over again so that's what we're gonna work on um, let's do some random dates here let's do um, that and today's date and then we're going to do uh, select about 10 cells here equals ran between this date comma this date in, and then uh, control enter. Oh, there, I did it again, didn't I? I'm gonna select these and hit F4. Using absolute values, now we can alt or control enter. And of course, we need to format this entire column as a date. So I'm formatting them by hitting control 1. You can also right click on a cell and hit format. And let's see here. And click on date. Alright. Now let's do some amounts. Let's see. Equals random between how about one and five hundred dollars for our sample table. Control shift four or dollar sign if you will. And the account numbers. We can just make up some stuff. C R L O O four and That's fine. We'll copy that down. Got some, got some different account numbers. Okay. Anyway, we're going to use the account numbers. So we'll do C two through C eleven. Uh, make those uh, selectable. So um, first thing we want to do is figure out what how to, what it's like to change the font colors and specifically pinpoint the hex numbers for those colors. It's real easy. Go to the developer tab. We're going to record a quick macro. Not going to give any details on it. I just want to see what it records whenever I change the font to red and then whenever I change it to this green here and then whenever I change it to um, black again and that's all we wanted to do so I'm going to click uh, stop recording and I'll save my worksheet in case anything locks up right alt F11 let's take a look at the macro that was created in module 1 here it is macro 1 okay so with the selection dot font so the dot color uh, the tint and shade was 0 so we can kind of ignore that it didn't change at all but the selection dot font dot color went from negative whatever to this and then to XL theme color light one that must be black the default it even has a special little built-in variable for that so let's do some rotating let's do this let's make our own uh, macro right next to this so we can just kinda copy and paste some stuff so we want to have uh, naming it blah because I'm gonna move this into a worksheet function pretty soon so if if selection dot font dot color equals negative sixteen seven seven uh, no let's see if it equals XL theme color light one then so it's already black then we're going to change it to green. Then select stuff on dark color equals negative one six seven seven six nine six one, which I'm gonna make a note to myself is red. Else if and then uh, I'm gonna get an error if I do this, but I'm gonna do it. Otherwise if the selection dot blah 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 it equals one six seven seven six nine six one. So if it's red, then make it whatever the other one is. 
make it green, right? I'm going to copy and paste that. I'm going to change this stuff here to make it green, which we see is negative 1148042, which I'll make a note is green. And then finally, else, uh, else if selection dot font our color equals uh, 11480942, which is green, then then we loop back to black. And that's pretty much it. So we're going to manipulate that into, say, end if. And we're going to take this, I'm going to copy all this and paste it into a worksheet event. So right click on the worksheet that you're wanting it's, this in, go to view code, and we're going to select worksheet, and we're going to select selection change. Perfect. So if not, enter, you'll have to watch a video on this uh, intersection jive, but just uh, you'll get it. So if the intersection of target, which is the selected cell basically, and the intersection of the, the selection and uh, the range of let's say C2 through C we'll just do 20 C2 through if it's between C through and C20 is nothing then so if it's between there then do all this jive here let's hit tab so they're all lined up and do end if so we have our entire macro already laid out here the only problem I see here is uh, it may not like the word selection whenever they're wanting us to use target, but we could try it. So let's uh, let's try that. Let's see. Did it work? It's not working. Okay. So let's highlight all these. Control F, which is find, and we'll click on replace. We're going to take the word selection and replace it with target because in this particular macro they want us to use the word target. Six replacements were made. Let's see if that works now. Okay, we need to see what's going wrong then. Hit these pause thing right there. Okay, so we did trigger the event. Target dot font dot color equals equals zero right now. Huh. So if it equals zero, fine. Then that must mean black. Then we're gonna make the font color whatever that is. Okay, it's red. Okay, that worked. Now let's click on it again. Let's see. Gotta click away, I guess. Now I selected it again. It is uh, equal to 255 right now. Let's see. Where'd my negative sign go there? Oops, let's see. Okay, so uh, if it is equal to that, it is not. Okay, well, you know what? Let's just say uh, 255. Then it goes green. Five two nine six two seven four. Five two nine. Five two nine six two seven four. Um, and then finally back to zero. Apparently, what they told us initially was a lie. So, and then it goes back to black. So that's working. Um, click here, goes red, click again, and if it, it'll say if it's green, then go black. Red, green, black, red, green, black. Do, 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 do,